Ka, welcome to the Thai Law Forum. In recent news around Thailand has been the Justice for the Black Panther case. Allegedly, CEO of the Thai Italian development company, Kun Prem Chai Karnutsa, had slaughtered a Black Panther in a wildlife sanctuary. Although the animal has been identified as an Indo Chinese leopard, activist groups have been calling it the Justice for the Black Panther case. Activist groups have set up a Facebook group pairing business owners and homeowners to offer up their walls for graffiti artists around Thailand to come and paint murals for the Black Panther. We are here today with the owner of the Pet and Aquatic Animal Hospital here in Lat Prao, Kun Army. Thank you so much for joining us here today. You're welcome. I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions on why you got involved with the Justice for the Black Panther case and why you thought you should offer up your wall. Uh, we want to make a statement because we are a hospital and uh, we saw this as a a way for us to present our own feelings toward the animals. Yeah. This is not really for the Black Panther in particular. Okay. We want to show this as an animal rights movement, yeah. that animal cruelty is not acceptable in, uh, in any level. How did you get the artists to come and paint on your walls? Actually, this is uh, a movement, a movement yeah. through a website called A Call for Animal Rights yeah. Thailand. Yeah. And uh, they're matching between the artists and an empty wall just to make sure that this idea will not be erased. Yeah. So all the paintings here, because I know you've got the Black Panther mm -hmm. depicted over here. Can you explain a little bit more of the other animals in this painting? Actually, to be absolutely fair, yeah. we only provide a platform yeah. for all the artists to represent their ideal. Yeah. Our only um, request for the artists is that for them to show something that can last longer than this case yeah. okay. because most of the news it will go away within you know six months in a year yeah, okay. but we want to show something that lasts maybe 10 years 20 years people can come here and still see that it represents something yeah. because authorities are quickly painting over all the black panther murals so do you wanted your mural to stay up long after the case that's exactly the reason yeah. because this is a private properties yeah, and there's in no way that you can actually show that it's linked to anything in particular we want to let the people who see it visualize and uh, uh, understand what we are trying to say without saying it yeah. so this is a silent movement okay so are you in any way promoting the mural did you want people to come see it or is it just something that's here that people have actually, to come across we want people to see okay we want people to come and in fact actually we got requests from uh, news agency in New York okay. to interview and show what, what we are doing here. Yeah. It's actually more than just a mural. It's more like a landmark now. Yeah. And uh, we try to make sure people come and see and understand. Definitely. That's amazing. And can I ask your opinion, mm -hmm. how do you feel about what had happened in that wildlife sanctuary mm -hmm. when um, Kun Prem Chai, do you think that he killed the panther? Because he has denied all allegations that he did it. Um, I don't think the fact that he did or he did not is yeah. relevant. I think the key that we should get out of all this news yeah. is actually something terrible went wrong yeah. and uh, it should not happen. Be it himself or just a simple hunters or a ruler people, it doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. He just happened to be in the center of attention and yeah. that brought all this to life. Yeah. And because of this news, people become aware of what's going on. And for us to highlight this to the general public, I think that's a, that's a key. So what exactly are you trying to highlight here? Is it because of this case has brought awareness to maybe some corruption or not? I, really? I think overall, no, no, be it corruptions, be it uh, I don't know, money talk, yeah. the general public being silenced, yeah. I mean, all these things you need to be highlighted. And uh, for us, our original idea is we don't want people to lose their rights to represent their own thoughts and feelings yeah. because right now you see all this like you just said authority come paint over all these yeah. things and hopefully it will not happen here yeah. because it's a private properties so this is what we want to represent that people can still share their feelings yeah. to the public so have you have you come in contact with any challenges with putting up this mural not at all no? not at all because it is your private property, so you do have the right to... Design. That's what we thought, okay. so until somebody say otherwise. Okay. And uh, we have been 
support by the community, yeah. the owner of the properties, you know, the artists, yeah. and then even the social media communities uh, have been supporting very well, and all the kind words. In particular, all the doctors, all the animal doctors yeah. across the country has been sending us word of praise that is they are happy that somebody stood up yeah. and uh, start a movement like this. Hopefully, there's more coming. In yeah, the I was just going to ask mm. if do you know if there's anyone else because of the mural you've done, mm-hmm. they want to do it as well. Actually, there's many, and most of them come ask who's are the artists. Yeah, they want to bring in the artists to do all this thing. But and you've got all the names correct over here as well. That code name yeah. per se. Code names. Yeah. So uh, I think people are trying to reach out yeah. more, but for us, it would be better if somebody similar to us be it a hospital, animal hospital or animal welfare unit, yeah. all these people can up and, and do something like this. Yeah. So the voice will be stronger and last longer. Yeah, but not just animal welf- welfare places, mm-hmm. but because not just business owners are op- of offering up their walls, Correct. but also homeowners as Home well. Owners. Correct. So it's it really is what you said, a movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then it, we have to be quite selective okay. because if you are too aggressive, then it might not reflect what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. So you can always see that people take advantage of things all the time. So we, we try to be discreet. Yeah. Hopefully this is uh, as discreet as they come. Yeah. And may I ask you, what do you think will happen to the public opinion or Thai society if Khun Prem Chai walks away with maybe a minor fine? I think the general public already understand the, the, the situation, I would say. And I don't think they'll judge the the government or the the people in charge yeah. if this case fell through if he may not get charged at all but what come after that's what important yeah. I think that the result of this case is already irrelevant at least to me yeah. I think it it has brought enough attention that that we should pay attention to to all this story ourselves not particular person or particular the government Hey, Kun Army, thank you so much for joining us today and letting us come and vi- visit this absolutely inspiring mural. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you from Tyler Forum, Coffin Car.